Welcome everybody, this is Apocalypse Doc, your doctor in the apocalypse, and we are back in our uh, survival game stat system tutorial series. For this video, we're simply going to add our food stat that we already have to our third person character. And we're going to do that by giving our stats component to the third person character. It's as simple as that. So let's get started. So I am back in the YouTube tutorial project and going to our stats system folder. And here we have our food bar UI and our stats component. All we need to do to add this system to the third person character is add this component right here to our third person character. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. On the left, click add, type in stats. and it pulls up our stats component. Select that, compile, and save. It's automatically here. If you select the component and look on the right, you can see what's customizable in here. And if you remember, the amount of food we start with, the degeneration time, and the degeneration amount are customizable. And there's a bunch of stuff that is not customizable. So we will not touch that, all right? Another thing that we need to add is the HUD reference for this third person character. If we go back to our first person character, you can see that we created our main HUD widget right here on the begin play, and then we added it to the viewport. Let's see what happens if I play this, the third person map with a third person character. Are we going to see the HUD? Are we going to see our food bar? The answer is no. So let's fi finish that. I'm going to go ahead and literally just copy all this code. Right click, begin play. Oops. Okay, paste the code. Connect the execution pin to this sequence node. So what this does, we're creating the widget and we have our main HUD widget selected. It's going to turn it into a variable. This is grayed out because the variable does not exist. So right click on that, create variable, and it's right over here. Definitely want to put that in do not edit label so we don't mess with it. And we're adding it to the view, viewport, compile and save. And we are going to go ahead and see our food bar because if you go back to our stats component, go back to the UI functions, go to add food bar to UI main HUD, you can see that, let's see, we're getting the food bar ref, we're grabbing a reference ah, to the first person character, getting the main HUD and then adding it. There's something that we're going to need to fix, okay? This is not a reference to the third person character, so we're going to need to work that out. And I have an idea of how we can do that. So if we look on our event graph, look at our owning character reference, okay? We are going to make a way to get a reference to the HUD from the character using an interface. Okay, this way it doesn't matter what the actor class is in this function. This will just be general owning character reference. Then we're going to get the main HUD via an interface. We're going to put it in the this HUD folder. Go to blueprints, blueprint interface, BPI underscore YTT for YouTube tutorial. Okay, and I'm going to call it HUD. All right, and the reason I add YTT is because what if you're using another asset that has an interface called BPI underscore HUD? You don't want things to be uh, mixed up. So let's just save everything. Let's go into this interface and we're going to create a function. BPI underscore YTT underscore get main HUD. All right, and this 
function is going to have an output. All right, and we want that to be the main HUD. So let's grab our widget blueprint WBP underscore main HUD object reference. Okay. All right, compile and save. All right. So all we need to do is add this interface to any actor and then we will call this get main HUD interface function and we'll be able to get a reference. I'll show you how that works. I'll actually put it on both the third person character and the first person character and show you that it works. So let's go back to our third person character. You want to go up here to class settings. Okay. Go to implemented interfaces, click add, and let's find our HUD interface. Compile and save. Go over on the left, open up interfaces, and here's the function we created. So let's double click that. This function is asking us to input a main HUD reference. And we already created that, remember, on the begin play. Here's the variable. So let's just feed that variable into this function. Hold left click, drag it into the graph, right click on it, convert that to a validated get. So if this main HUD is valid, does exist, we want to get it. Okay. Copy this return node, paste it. If it's not valid, we're not going to send anything. Okay. And there you have it. Let's go back to our first person character and add that. All right. So we are going to go to class settings. We're going to go to implemented interfaces. Let's add the HUD interface, compile and save. Over here, here's the function we created. Double click to implement it. And let's grab our main HUD ref. Right click on it, make it a validated get. Okay. We're going to feed this in here. If it's valid, give us the main HUD. Copy the return node, paste. If it's not valid, don't give us any. So let's go back to our stats component. So here's our add food bar UI to main HUD function. Okay. And we don't want to use this at all. All right. So let's go to our event graph and find our owning character reference. Remember, this is the owner of this component. Any character that has this component on it, it's going to be represented here. Okay. So let's go back to that add food bar UI to main HUD function and let's grab our owning character reference. Right click on it, make it a validated get. All right. And now we are going to drag this out and we are going to get main HUD. And we want the interface that we created. Grab that message. There you go. And now let's get the canvas. Okay. Just like before and feed it here into the target, connect the execution pin, compile and save. All right. Now let's go back to our first person character and delete. Let's see. Where is that function we created? There it is, the get main HUD function. Delete that because we're not using that anymore. Compile and save. This should be all we need to get the HUD reference from any character. So this should be good. Let's see if this works. All right. Push play. And there you have it. We have our third person character. And in the top left, you can see our food bar has been added to the HUD. We know the made HUD is working because on the top left, you can see it says YouTube tutorial. And remember, we put that there so we know when our main HUD is showing. And our food is decreasing by one unit every second as we told it to. And that's it. So that's how you add the stat system to a third person character. And it's also how you use blueprint interface functions in order to grab variables from different classes. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've learned a lot. I really enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more content, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out in the algorithm. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more content and have a good day.